in devastating and traumatic times like this, faith can take us a long way. Rabbi Barry Silver of the congregation Lador Vador joins me now. Rabbi Barry Silver, it's always an honor to have you on the show. I'm sorry that we're not together in person, but when this happened, one of the people I thought it'd be important to speak with is you, um, because you always have very clear messages, like a clarion for those that are tuning in to listen. I wanted to get your thoughts about how faith could maybe bring us some hope as we're facing such turbulent and traumatic times. Thank you so much, Katie. I noticed that you always have guests on who and who share your unique perspective on things. I appreciate your having me. You said that faith can take us a long way, and it can. It can also take us the wrong way. When people have faith in a Bible that's written by God that instructs them to kill, then you don't have to ask the question, how can people do such heinous acts? You already know the answer. Because if somebody can convince you to believe in absurdity, they can get you to commit an atrocity. And if you believe that the Quran, the Christian scripture, or the Jewish holy book, the Torah, was written by God, then you will believe that God is instructing you to kill non-believers. And that is taking you the wrong way. I believe that we must transform spirituality and faith so that it's rational, so that we no longer blindly accept the teachings of my own book or anybody's book where God is saying to kill the non-believer. Those words got transferred and transmitted into the Hamas charter. It's now a blueprint for murder, a blueprint for genocide, in which they call upon the killing of Jews, because now they are the chosen people. I believe that we need faith, faith in ideals, faith in love, faith in peace, faith in human nature, faith in the ability to reason. You know, Hamas called for a day of rage. I said, let's have a day of engage. On that day when they tried to scare us, when they tried to shelter us into our own bunkers, I visited the local mosque. I visited the local church. I said hello to my friends, Imam, the pastor. And I said, let's get together. And they said, yes, let's counter this blind faith. Let's counter this religion that is used to build walls of separation. And let's use it to build bridges of understanding. You know, the Hamas children were taught from a very early age, you must kill the Jewish people, the Jewish people are interlopers. It's not their fault. They were brainwashed, they were hijacked. And we, the world community, allowed this mental child abuse to go on. I say to everyone, blind faith can no longer be acceptable because you might not care what kids are learning in the madrasa. Maybe people in New York didn't care what they were learning in Afghanistan, but those children who are being taught to hate in those schools, they came back with a vengeance, and people had no idea what they were learning until thousands of people were dead. Human beings can no longer afford the luxury of allowing our children to be used as weapons of war. Hamas, my friends, is like a cancer today. It's people gone bad. And we take no glee in excising a cancer. Sometimes you have to actually take out parts of your own body. You have to take out your, your lungs or, or part of your colon or, or, or part of vital organs. But you have to do it in order to save the life of the body. Jewish people hate to take life. We cherish life. Hamas is a cult of death. Hamas actually means violence in Hebrew, but it also means in Spanish, never, Hamas. And so I say Jamás vencido cuando nosotros estamos unidos. If we are united, Hamas will be defeated. It should not be up to Israel alone to take out Hamas. And I'm so glad to see that President Biden, Secretary Blinken, Mayor Eric Adams, and so many people are coming together to say, this is our battle, just like with Ukraine. This is our fight. We must unite to get rid of this toxic cancer so that the Palestinian people can be free. They haven't had fair elections. They had an election in 2006 where they threw people off of buildings who disagreed. The Palestinians are the biggest victims of Hamas. We must unite as a world community and say, never, Hamas, never, never again. That was the slogan of the Holocaust. It should be the slogan of terrorism. Never again should the world allow our children to be subjected to this vicious indoctrination into hatred. Let us approach religion rationally.
Let us all unite, people of all faiths, all religions. Let us unite around hope and love and peace and using religion to build bridges of understanding. Rabbi Barry Silver, as I knew, you would come and you would share words of hope and words of, like I said, a clarion for people to listen and to hopefully find that bridge of peace. Rabbi Barry Silver, thanks for being here.